In this week's Retro Pop Culture News, there is a new Say by the Bell podcast. And Zach Morris himself, he's going to be the star of the show. Also, the original voice actor from Child's Play is going to be coming back to voice Chucky in a new TV show. And Vanilla Ice, there is a biopic movie being made about him. And Mr. T has a WWF figure that's coming out. And we have a lot more to talk about, so don't turn that dial. Uh. <laughs> What up to my peoples and welcome to Retro Crunch, your number one source for retro pop culture and news. All right, so this first story is basically a news alert for all of those Saved by the Bell fans. Mark Paul Gosler is going to be doing a new podcast starting on July 29th, and he and DeShield Driscoll, who's the creator of that hit YouTube channel, Zach Morris's Trash, they're going to be sitting and talking about each episode of the show Saved by the Bell. Starting with the first episode, the podcast is going to dissect each of those 16 episodes in the first season, and they plan to later do season two through four of the original series in the future as well. If you know me on this channel, I am a huge fan of Saved by the Bell, and with the news revival starring Slater and Jesse coming out soon on Peacock, this is a really cool podcast to listen to if you want to get a little bit of that inside scoop on the show. I'll put a link uh, to the podcast down below so you guys can check it out. Then next, there is a Chucky series that's going to be coming out on Sci-Fi Networks in 2021. And it was announced that the original voice actor of the Child's Play movie who played Chucky, he's going to be back for this TV series. I was already on board with watching this when I found out uh, that this was going to be coming out. But now that I know he's going to be voicing it, I'm even more excited. Then we all know this catchy tune, but on top of that, there is a Vanilla Ice biopic that's titled To the Extreme. It's going to have Dave Franco, who's going to be cast to play Vanilla Ice in this new movie. So Rob Van Winkle, who was known as Vanilla Ice, is actually also tied to the project. And he's been working with the actor to get a lot of input or give a lot of input and has been real important to the development of the movie. I'm, I'm kind of mildly interested in seeing this. Um, I think getting to see some of his backstory is going to be kind of cool. Seeing how Rob uh, developed, how he got into rap. Um, a little bit about his motorcycle career, all those kind of things will be pretty interesting. And I just hope that they're honest to the material and they tell a true story. And then the Weasel, Pauly Shore, he has a new trailer out for a new movie. Um, it actually looks pretty good and it might be kind of funny. I think it's definitely cool to see some of his old charm and style in this trailer. So it's really cool that he's coming back and he's got some more work. And there's a new movie about Tetris that's being made. It's going to star uh, Taron Egerton. And it's a biopic that explains just how important the game of Tetris was to the history of the video game market. Another awesome bit of news is that Cobra Kai Season 1 and 2 are finally going to be coming available on Netflix globally on August 28th. Right now there's no information on when Season 3 is going to be announced, but we know it's coming and this is definitely some good information that's going in the right direction. And then in some retro gadget news, Mattel is actually developing a line of action figures uh, which recast those WWE wrestlers as heroes and villains in the mold of He-Man and the Masters of the Universe. The toy line consists of four figures. It's going to be Jake the Snake Roberts, my favorite Mr. T, Seth Rollins, and The Fiend Bray Wyatt. Now, I'm really excited that they actually have a Mr. T one that's coming out. The uh, San Diego Comic-Con had a Mr. T figure that came out recently, and pretty much nobody was able to get it. So seeing that uh, there's going to be a WWE uh, Masters of the Universe figure that is Mr. T, I'm really excited about it, and I'm pretty sure I'll be able to pick that one up. Then we announced a couple weeks ago that Hasbro is making a Back to the Future and Transformers crossover toy that's called Gigawatt. And they're back to announce that they're also going to be making a crossover comic book as well. And here's the premise for the book. In the debut issue, Marty McFly returns from the adventure of a lifetime to a new but better Hill Valley. That is, until Marty and his friend Doc Brown's time machine attracts the attention of the Decepticons. With one small mistake, Marty finds himself once again thrust into action to unravel a Decepticon plot in the past, present, and future. Now with the help of a new converting time machine, the Autobot called Gigawatt. And then check out this pretty cool but really expensive Volkswagen camper cooler. Then finally, if you're into retro news and nostalgia stuff from back in the day, I'll see you in the next video right over there. I'll catch you on the flip side and remember, if it ain't retro, it ain't worth watching.